Oh boy, welcome back sports fans. Mike Kretz here. Well, it is time to get pumped up. Football on the Western Slope will be arriving sooner than expected. Monday, CMU announced the football team will have an abbreviated fall schedule. Today, Coach Jackson took time out to talk with me about what the news means for the Mavericks. Our seniors asked me to, and then also, you know, people need some form of hope these days. It's, it's not a lot of hope, and without football, it really seemed like a, a bad fall. So we got that in place, and now, now our kids have some hope, our students have hope, and so we were able to get it done. What they got done is a schedule of four contests to be played this fall. Three teams from the RMAC said they wanted to go October 10th, Shadron State at home, then a trip to South Dakota to play Black Hill State. Another South Dakota team in Mines comes to Junction for an October 24th matchup, and that does it for the RMAC schedule, but the Maz will also be making the trip to Canyon, Texas to play the Buffs of West Texas A&M as well. As ever, with getting a team ready for the season, week one is where you put your focus. Hey, October 10th, we're we're going to open up in front of our fans and our school uh, at our home stadium. It, it makes me feel good because it makes the players feel good. Feeling good about the possibility of leading the state back to the gridiron. You'll notice none of the schools on the schedule are from Colorado. In fact, not one university from the Centennial State as of right now has games on the docket. It's just the mentality that, that we've always had. You know, we're going to make things happen. And when I took this job here, I, I knew I was working for a president that wanted to make things happen as well. And so just being a leader and not a follower uh, is kind of the mentality of our university and definitely the mentality of our program. A program that while in quarantine made the most of preparation time. You guys were doing work. You were putting in the work, getting the testing in place, mm -hmm. uh, trying to figure out how you were going to make this as smooth a transition as possible. Are you reaping the rewards for that now? Yeah, I'm, you know, I think we're just, we're our whole university is. Uh, we've got kids on campus, we've got kids in classes, we're doing things safely uh, because when and when we were in quarantine, we weren't sleeping on vacation, we were working. Uh -huh. And uh, we are seeing that, that, that work come to fruition right now. Work that ultimately has netted the football team the chance to showcase the direction of the program in just more than a month. Coach Jackson says the schedule was a university-wide team effort. You know, President Foster is a leader. I mean, he's, he's a genuine leader. Uh, he's a football player. And most of all, he loves this university and he wants this university to be successful. And then our athletic administration has been second to none, literally, in this conference. We, nobody's doing what we're doing here. And it makes me very proud to be the football coach here with an administration and a president that, that's willing to go into uncharted territories as long as we can go safely. Yeah, hey, safely and soon. Coach Jackson said the team's inter-squad fall game will be less than 20 days away. You can be sure the sports department right here is going to be all over Maverick football for the next few months. We're